Guys, I just need to have a little bit of a chat. We started about a few things that have come up that you're probably not really privy to at the moment, but I just need to talk to him for a while and he's going to get yourself something to eat or whatever and I'll give you the buzz as soon as I can sort that out. Alright? Thanks. How you going, bud? What's been happening? Yeah? Yeah. Quiet out of the farm. Yeah? Yeah, you want to do painting that? Maybe I'll paint them. Yeah, paint the fence. What colour? White? White picket fence? Purple picket fence. Yeah. Ah, it's down like boggle balls, isn't it? Yeah, well it's um girl I live with. Um she loves purple so Does she? Yeah, so it's purple fence and Oh you gotta keep them happy. Purple Avery and everything, so Yeah, you collect birds and shit there. I've got a Pet twenty eight. Okay. Australian ring neck that I've How old's that? Cut with a chainsaw. You cut it with a chainsaw? Yeah, it was a tree lopper. And yeah. we were cutting down the tree and just clipped his wing. So I kept him and I get a nestling, so he's, he's 12 months old in September. I've like had him for 12 months in September. Oh, that's good. He talks and whistles and carries on. Beautiful. Is that Danny Bird? Yeah. And I want to get more. I want to, uh, I've asked my neighbour across the road because there's 28 steps in the trees. Oh, okay. I'm going to go get him a partner. Very good. And breed? Yeah. Oh, not so much breeds, just so he's got apartments or anything, but yeah. That's good. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, like that. Listen, I'm hearing through uh, through Jeff, through Paul, that you're doing some good stuff. Yep. Um, I suppose I just have to, you know, make, make sure you're happy doing what you're doing, that there's no, no issues there, because uh, as you know, there's things are moving. Yes. Uh, you got no problems? You're happy? Um, no one's forcing you to do anything you don't want to do? No, no, I'm quite enjoying it, actually. Okay, that's good. And they're looking after you? Yes, very much. That's excellent. Yep. Listen, one of the reasons I brought you here was, um, as you know, I said to you before, we've got to walk before we run, we've got to crawl before we walk. And as you probably also know, I've got a lot of people in my confines all around the country that I pay good money to to get good information from. Yes. And as this thing's progressing, this big job that we're looking at, I've been checking out, yep. which is only well, expected of me. Yes. And there's a couple of things that have come up that we need to talk about. Yeah. All right. If I'd known, I thought it was all dealt with. Look, I was. I've been here on. I'm here on other business. Yeah. Uh, I'll be. I'll be straight with you. I'm here on other business, but I got some information through earlier this morning, which has kind of made me postpone all that stuff, okay. so that we can sort this out. Um, what do you need to tell? Is there something you need to tell me, or? Um. And bearing in mind that, that this the whole, what we do. Is based on respect and honesty, yep. all right? Yep. Well, I've told Paul and, and Jeff. Just let me stop you there before you go on. Yep. I'll, I'll let you know that I don't care what you've done. Yep. All right? Yep. I've got no qualms at all. You know, I've dealt with a lot of, lot of real bad cunts, all right? Yep. And I've had a lot of real bad cunts on my books. What they do, what they get up to, doesn't faze me at all. All I'm looking for is loyalty, respect and honesty. Yep. And I'll pay you back as you pay me back. Yep. So go on. Yep. Now, um, because I lived in the area... Just let me figure out how to turn this bloody thing off. Sorry. System off. Sorry, go on. Um, I was living in the area in 03 when Daniel Morgan went missing and just sort of being interviewed and I was hounded for ages about that. Um, I can guarantee I had nothing to do with Daniel Morgan's disappearance. Um, one of my alibis, or half an hour of my alibi, they reckon they shot the pieces because my drug dealer has now changed my mind that I wasn't at her house. And um, I've lost my two eldest kids due to this as well. Um, and I was brought forward to the coroner's inquest in March, April this year. And um, I thought that was the end of it. So I was surprised when Craig said to me that there's a, um, not a warrant, but a subpoena. subpoena. Yeah, look, I got some info this morning. Um, um, basically saying those things, but, but what concerns me more than anything else is it's, it's telling, it's, the info is telling me, and as I said, I pay good money to a lot of people, and I take a lot of risk in doing that. Yeah to get the information that I need to keep us safe and clean. Yep. 
as a group. Because ultimately, you know, if the heat's on you, then the heat's on Paul, the heat's on Jeff, and the heat's on me. And I can't afford for that to happen, all right? So, <clears throat> so what's happened is, from the information I've got, all right, I'm told you've done, you've done the Daniel Morecambe uh, murder. Yeah. I'm told that it's dead set that, that you're the one who's done it. Yeah. And it, like I said, that doesn't bother me at all. But what concerns me is that I need to, I can sort this for you. You know, I can sort things out. I can buy you alibis. I can, all, I can get rid of stuff, all that kind of things that needs to be done, I can do. Yeah. But I need to know what I need to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you saying to me, look, I had nothing to do with it, that's not what I'm, I'm being told. Yep. Um, and that brings me in a real dilemma, in a crossroads, because I want to move forward with what we're doing, yep. but until I can sort this out, I can't, yep. because you're too hot. Yep. Um, I'm told, yeah, there is a subpoena coming for you. I'll show you the email I've got this morning. <coughs> Like I said, I was here doing other stuff, and when I copped this, I thought, look, I better, better talk to you. Man on man, one on one, um, in confidence, yep. to see if I need to sort, to see how I can sort this out, all right? Because as I've said from what I'm told, you're good, you're good for us, yep. and I want to bring you on board, but I've got to weigh up the risks to me. It's like any business, you know? Have a read of that. All right, that's what I copped this morning. So you got? Can you enlarge that? I'll read it for you. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need glasses? Yeah, I've got them in the car. Yeah, I'm getting the same way. Yeah. You know, I, I fight it and fight it and fight it, but yeah, I need them. Okay, what what I've got is Arnold. Um, Shadow Hunter, alias Brett Peter Cowan, yep. the main suspect in the disappearance of Daniel Morecambe who went missing in Queensland 7 December 2003. My sources tell me that there's no doubt he's the person responsible for this event. Witnesses have placed him at the scene uh, with Morecambe just prior to the disappearance. Additionally, there's about a 45 minute of window of opportunity where, where Cowan is unaccounted for. He provided a weak alibi two years later in a family court matter, but there's something about this alibi that's not right and I'll find out a little more shortly and let you know. The Morecambe case is one of the highest profile missing person cases in Queensland history and there's a lot of media interest in it. Cowan gave evidence at an inquest under the code name of P7 and I suggest you Google some of the info that I've provided to get more of a feeling for this matter, which I've done. Coroner's inquests are recommencing shortly and Cowan will again be uh, in the spotlight. If you can't sort this out then I suggest you drop them like a hot potato. Yep. Alright, so that's that's what I've got, and that's why I've had I've postponed everything. Um, I haven't postponed what's happening, yeah. but I've postponed the business I had to do this morning to sit down with you one on one and sort this shit out. All right? But like I've said, I can't sort out what I don't know. Yeah. So look, what happened, and how can I sort it out? Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, all right? honesty, trust, respect. All right? yep. you, know where you, you know where you're going, you know what your options are here. All right? yep. And you know the information I've got, and as I said, I pay good people, good money yep. to keep us clean. Yep. And if I've got to postpone what we're going to do for a few months to sort this out, yep. I'm happy to do that for your sake, yep. all right? Because I'm told that you're pretty loyal. Yep. You build up a good relationship with some of the boys, and they speak very highly of you. Yep. I appreciate that. So what do I need to fix? Yeah, okay. You know, yeah, I do. All right. So okay. So you did it, but what I'm saying is. You know, I, I need to kind of go. I need to stick right back to the whole thing, yeah. so that I, so that if there's anything like, 
I don't know if they've got any DNA or all that kind of shit. No, you know, obviously they, they haven't found the fucking body. They took my car, they searched my car, did all forensics on my car, they got nothing out of my car. Well look, just lead me through the whole fucking thing, how it happened, from where to go, and then I'll think about things that we need to sort and fix. Do you want a coffee or something? No, I'm not. Okay. I don't know how it... I seen him standing there, I did a loop around and... Okay, hang on. What, to what time was this? I don't know. Okay, exactly. so from what I'm told, it's about lunchtime, early morning. Afternoon. You were going, where were you going? Were you, I was what going up to my boss's father's place to pick up a wood mulcher. Going to your boss's father's place to yep. pick up a wood mulcher? Yep. Because yep. I'd done some tree lopping in the own yard at the farm and I was saying yep. that all. Yep. Yep. Um, picked it up and on the way home. There was a broken down bus. Uh, yep. The sun bus. Broken down. And then I seen Daniel. Did you know him at all? No. Okay, so you seen him on the side of the road? Yeah. What, you did a U or something? Or? I went up and around and parked in the church car park. Was, uh, my car was never on the road, so I don't know how they ever got... Yeah, because there's some, I've, I've heard something about a white four-wheel drive four that they've seen. Yeah, well, it was not sitting on the highway at all. So you so parked behind the... Behind. Near the church or yeah. wherever it was? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I walked down and sat there and then... Did you talk to him for long or...? I didn't talk to him at all when I got there, it made it just look as though I was waiting for the bus. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yep. Um, the bus drove past and that's when I said, I'm going down to the shopping centre, do you want a lift? Yep. And he's gone, yep. Uh, so he's missed the bus or something, has he? Or? No, the bus drove past because it okay. was given the orders not to pick up any more passengers because it was a broken down one and there would be another bus through. And yep, it yep. Lift. Okay, so you, you asked him if you want a lift, he said yep. yeah. Yep. He's jumped in. Where did, he, where did he sit in your car? The front, the back? Seat. Passenger seat, front. Oh, passenger yep. seat, yeah. Yep. Um, he, um, well, instead of taking him to the shopping centre, I took him to a um, secluded spot that I knew of. Well, where was that? Uh, to Beer on just off Coochin Creek. What's it called? So that's, that's pretty important. What's it called? Beer. Beer. Yeah, B W A R W A H. Beer. Yeah. So okay, so you know the area, you knew the area pretty well. You've taken him to beat where how far away is that from where you picked him up? Half an hour. Half an hour. I don't know the area, I've never really been to Queensland, that much to do with it. Yeah. So alright, so you've taken him to Biwa. Have you talked to him along the way or yeah, just yeah. Uh, no no problem? No. Alright. Like I said, I'm not judging you at all. Yeah. Alright? So bear that in mind, alright? Yeah. Just tell me what I need to fix. You've taken him to Biwa? Um, yeah, went to an abandoned house thing that I knew where... Do you know exactly where that was? Uh, Anderoy's Road. Anderoy's? And of Roy's Road. How do you spell that? No, uh, Roy's Road. Oh, Roy's Road. R-O-Y-S or something, isn't yeah. it? Roy's Road at yeah. the end. Yeah. Because what we might need to do is... Get you... I'll get to that later, but we might need to get that sorted. We're going to need to get that sorted, yeah. alright? Um, um, there's nothing there. I went back because I just put it under bushes and I went back to... Okay, so, all right, so, so you're there. taken him to the house? Yeah. What happened in the house? Um, like I said, he, I'm not judging you, right? Yeah, well, I never got to molest him or anything like that. He panicked and I panicked and grabbed him around the throat and just thought I knew he was dead. All right. How long did it take for you to, str to strangle him out? Do you, do you know? Don't you probably don't think about shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what you were you were looking didn't at? Seem, didn't seem long. All right. So you grabbed him out of the throat. He's still sitting in the car. No, no. This is, we're you out take of him car. to the house. Yeah. Which whereabouts in the house? Um, just into the. There's no furniture or nothing. It was just into the first room. The first room. Yeah, in the door. Did he fucking spit, leave blood, anything? In that room? Mm, not that I know of. No. What about his clothing? You have all his clothing on still, or? Um, yes, he had his clothing on there. All right. So you've choked him out. Yeah. He's, he's, he's died. Yeah. In that room. Yeah. What's what have you done then with him? Um, taken him outside. And took his. And put him into the back of my car. Well, when you say the back of your car, you're talking about the. Where? It was, it was a white full drive or something? Yeah, uh, yeah Pajero. Okay. So it had a, like a... Like a big door at the back. Yeah. yeah. Did it have seats in the back as well? Or? 
Okay. The mulch, the mulch was in there. All right. So you've lied him in the back of the car? Yes. With the mulcher there still? Yes. Has he touched the mulcher or...? Nothing. Did you reckon you left any prints at the house or...? No. The house is gone. It's gone? Yes. All right. So we'll get to that in a minute. So you've taken him in the back of your car. How long does it, did this take, do you reckon? Um, I only had to go like from the house 150 metres to where I was because it's all bush and it's Alright, so you've taken him from the house. Yeah, it's an old sand mining site. You've picked him up from the ha from yeah. the house, put him in the back of your car, yeah. and you've driven him 150 metres or so. To, to where? Um, more secluded bush away from the... Well, it's in a fence stop there. I was actually going to lease the property to do sandblasting on. Yep. And um, there's an embankment where the, like the sand mining got up to, and then it's all been growing over with trees and bush again and then you've got um, the old lake, the sand mining lake. Yep. Look, I'm not familiar with the area, mate. Just draw us a little fucking map so that I, I, I know what you're talking about. Just like from where the house was to the weather, where the thing was. And then the Roy's Road comes in here like that to a macadamia or an avocado farm. Yep. And that sort of spreads out around here like this and everything. There's a couple of sheds. And then there was the house here. Yep. This is the road. Isn't it? Uh, oh, this is just the property yeah, yeah. sort of thing. Um, where the house is, there's a, a little track that goes off down there through a gate. Yeah. Down to um, it's nothing. There's a caravan and an old mobile sawmill. About 150 metres away, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. So once you've done that, what have you done with him then? Took him out of the car. Yeah. Um, dragged him down the embankment and. When you dragged him, did you leave any... Can, how'd you drag him? By the feet, by the... Arms, or...? I did, I carried him over and threw him down the embankment and he sort of... Okay, so you threw him over the embankment? Yeah. How, how far was that? A metre and a half. A metre and a half down. Yeah. Have you left any marks, or...? No worries. Okay, you fucking bushed him <laughs> like the old cowboy movies. Alright. So, he's gone down the bank, down the embankment, about a metre and a half? Yeah. What have you done then? I went down there and that's when I dragged him through. I don't know how far it was. Um, until I found somewhere I thought it was... A good spot? Yeah. So was that sand, grass, what? Sandy. Did he still have all his clothing on? Did you leave anything behind? Yes, or? No, he had all his clothing yep. on. Um, I've stripped him off. Yep. And um, trees and all that sort of stuff and branches and covered his body with that. His clothes I took back with me and threw them into the creek. You threw them in the creek? Which, the which creek? Or, uh, I'm not too sure whether it's... Was the creek the there? Creek right there? Or did you have no, to no, no. Way home. Yeah, I have to go across one lane. Right, it's still all secluded and everything, but like a old logging bridge type thing. Right, so it's gone over a logging bridge down a creek or something? Yeah, there's a creek there. And I was fast flowing. And I was really close you just there. chucked them all in there. Did you have put them in a bag or anything like that? Just what, one by one or a whole lot? Or? Just them all in. And what happened to them? Yeah, they just they sucked off there. They sank and floated away. They sank and floated away. Yeah. Nothing, none of that's ever been found. Well, you're lucky, aren't you? Yeah. And the house... All right. So, so after, you've, after you've done all that, now I've, I've, I've heard something about a fucking watch, uh, that he had a watch or some fucking thing, some... Yeah. Uh, did you have that? Did you keep... All went in. The whole lot went in, All everything. Went in. So he didn't keep anything of his? Nothing. There's no chance anyone was going to find anything no. of his? No. nothing. All right, so you've left him there, under the shrubs? Yeah. What have you done then? I went home. You've thrown the, you've thrown the clothes in the, in the thing? Yes. Yeah. You've gone home? Yeah. I did, I did stop at my dealer's place and pick up Did you? Yep. So they're lying when they say that they wasn't there. Oh, okay. So you did go to the oh, fucking dealer. Dealer. Mind you, from what I understand, it's a couple of years later that they've yeah. spoken out. And I mean, she's probably that drug fuck who wouldn't know what time yeah. of day it was, you know? All right, so you've, you've, you've gone to your dealer's place on the, after you've thrown the clothes in the, yeah. in the river, you've gone to the dealer's house? Yep. Yeah. You've bought, picked up there, or? Yeah. 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 Yep. Never bought big quantities, I didn't quite afford it. What, just grain, was it? Yeah, grain. Okay, yep. Um, spent about 15, 20 minutes there, and, which I always did. Yep. And uh, like to spend half an hour or so 
so I'm not walking in and out. Yep. Um, went home, went inside, said good day to my wife, told her I was back, and went out and started chipping the, the timber. Okay. So, that's the end of that for then? Did you go back? About a week. Not well within that week I went back. Had it, had it hit the press ball then or what? He's missing? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Let me find out what the fuck that is. I might have been that door Alright, so... <coughs> you've gone back about... It hadn't hit the press then? No. Oh, yeah, like, as a missing as person. As a missing person, yeah. alright. So what you're thinking, fuck, I better get <laughs> do something here, or...? Do, just in case, I went took a shovel back. Okay, so you, about a week later you've gone back, yeah. you've taken a shovel back. In the same, in your same car? Yes. And what have you done then? Um went down to where I put him and yep. um, only found a fragment of bone. The rest of it was gone. It fucked? In a week? In a week. The rest of it was gone. Like There was a patch of, you could tell, because it was summer, you could tell that like, there was fat on the ground. Um, so what's that? What do you reckon's happened there? I don't know. There's a lot of yabbies and animals and that sort of thing. Fat so yabbies now, eh? So, yeah, Alright, so what was left of him? A little piece of bone like that that I... No skull, no fuck all? No. So what have you well, done I with that? That was part of the skull. Yep. And I, I just buried it in there, like you broke it up with the shovel. So as far as you know, it's still there? Because that's yeah. going to cause us a problem. We're going to have to go and, and grab that. No, I broke it like it's... I know, no, but bad. nowadays they can do wonders with all this fucking yeah. shit. You know, DNA, all that kind of crap. Yeah. So we'll have to... We'll have to, I'll have to get you to fly over there with some of the, with a, a couple of the boys and saw all that shit out, all right? Yes. But we'll sort that out for you. The shovel, you broke his bugger all up with the shovel. Yes. Where's the shovel now? Don't know. <laughs> what did you I, do I with took, it? I took it home with me. Years in the gardens and... And you've, you suppose you know it's still there or...? At the house. Well, um, this is a fucking long time ago, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is it... Is someone still living in that house that you... Somebody's re-rented the house. You know. So the shovel might still be there, who knows? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Might have gone in there. Because I left my wife um, about seven months, eight months after that. Yep. And um, we were living in... We moved from that house to Nambour to another house. Okay. And then I left her and went to Moranbar. All right, so there's, as far as you know, there's nothing of his you've kept that no, can nothing, fucking make you get your cullen stuck. Yeah, nothing at all. And the bit of bone that was left, yeah. how big was it? Oh, it's only like... Fuck, only that's like amazing, it. eh? That's well, I'm, to this day, I'm still... So you've gone there to fucking bury it all, and yeah. that's all that's left? That's all that's And you've buried that in that spot? Yeah. All right, is there anything else you think that we need to fucking clean up? No. Your alibi, the fucking, this, this drug dealer of yours. Yep. You still talk to her or? No, I haven't been in touch You think we could approach her to fucking pay her some fucking dollars or do you think we should just... I'll have a think about that. I'll have a think about that, all right? She's done with the drugs as far as I know. So she may be approachable on that sort of thing. But it's the boyfriend that's saying that he would have remembered the motor and all that sort of stuff on the chipper. So What's the chipper got to do with well, that's because I did show him the chipper. Oh, you showed him the chipper, yeah. and he's, he's saying that he would have remembered, but he's saying he doesn't he remember. He doesn't remember. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Shadow, look. I need to make some fucking calls. Mm -hmm. I need to have a bit of a think. What I'll do, I'll get Adam, or, or no, I'll get, I'll get Jeff to come back up, and um, he can take it down, fucking Paul. I'll give you, you know, go, go buy yourself something fucking to eat. Yeah. Let me make some calls. When I've sorted out the fucking calls, um, I'll give you a call back and see if I can sort out what we're going to do. Might have to put, think about putting up tonight somewhere. Get me a fucking plane tomorrow with, with one of the boys, or a couple of the boys, and sorting all this shit out. Go and have a look, making sure everything is fucking good. Yeah. Because if we can sort this out now, it's going to keep us all happy. Yeah. All right? Well, I said to, um... Anything else? I said to... Yeah. Yeah. 
cutting all ties. Well, I've cut ties to my family before. Yep. But I've got no problem with cutting all ties to everybody, even to the state of death certificate dead. Okay. Look, you know I can, you know I can back and fix things, right? I mean, Joe, we fixed, it, we yeah. sent Joe away for a while. We had a few dramas. Yeah. It's not an issue, right? Oh, he's going with the riots. Oh, sure he's going all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, have faith in me, right? Yeah. Um, we'll sort this out for you, and um, we'll move on. I might have to put this job back a little bit till we sort it out. But that's not a problem, right? Nobody else. Now, yeah, now yeah. it's up to you what you tell them. Right? All they know is I'm just talking about something. Yeah, well, that's not something that I'm going to tell anybody. No, right. yeah. no, look, that's fine. That's we have right. to come up with a scenario then. Yeah. Oh, let me have a think about it. We'll sort something out, all right? If Jeff and that needs to know, is that yeah, you know, like yeah. I'll someone else I'll is going to need to know. I'll, I'll leave that in your court. Yeah, because I'm going to have to send someone with you to sort all this fucking shit out, all right? But let me have a think about it. Let me let me get uh, I'll get Adam to come back up with Jeff, and, and I'll make make a couple of calls. I'll talk to a couple of my people that I've fucking uh, have been giving me some of this info, just to see if there's anything else that could that's that, get us yeah, unstuck. That's that half an hour alibi that the new dealer owner wasn't there. That spots. Yeah, we need to clean up. But if there's anything left there, and you say the house is gone now. Yeah, the house is gone. What do you mean gone? Demolished it. I don't know. It's like a workers' cottage. Okay. And was there any fucking no blood? blood no blood. No, no spit. No. Did you fucking? No. Didn't fucking. Didn't did you get fucking a blow? Did you? You know? No. Did you? So you left no spooks, nothing. No, nothing. And even if it was my DNA in the house, I'd been there before with uh, another guy. And yeah. So. Okay. Now, look, while we're talking about that, is there anything else I'll make a thought for you? Like? Like anything else that you've fucking done that is yeah. going to get us unstuck? No, there's nothing. So no more kids we're going to fucking no, find nothing. missing and they're no. looking at you? No, nothing like that at all. Alright. I didn't go out that day to a nice the kid or anything like that. Just happened? Just, yeah. So when you threw this fucking, I'm just thinking, why are you talking I'm thinking, you know, because there's a lot of shit I'm trying to fucking sort out here. There's something about this watch, you know, they're, they're missing this fucking watch. Yep. Did you see a watch you had or? I didn't. So it might have been in the pocket or some fucking thing. Yep. I wonder if it was heading up the sink. I might have to look at, you're going to have to show them also where you're fucking through. All, all the blood's through there. Yeah. You know, and the, the amount of time ago it was and everything. Yeah. That's probably in your advantage. Yeah. But what concerns me is the actual fucking place that, that you fucking yeah. where, you, where you took him, you know. But we'll sort that out. Nobody really knows about that place either. So. Yep. We'll sort it, all right? And like I said, we're just gonna have to put things back a bit yeah. to sort it. There you go, mate. Listen, uh, you want to come back up with Jeff and uh, grab Shadow and um, just take him down for a, a coffee or a, or a drink or a bite to eat or something? I've just got a few calls, I've got to sort a few things out. Alright, no worries. See you soon. Bye. At this stage, I don't know anything. Alright? And it's up to you what you want to tell them. But I'm going to have to bring someone else on board, obviously. Well, you know, I'd, I don't want to yeah, yeah, to yeah. Well, you know, the, we've been able to do what we've been able to do for so long because we're careful. Yeah. And you know, I, I've I've built this business up over a, a long time, and I've got a lot of good contacts all around Australia yeah. and internationally. Uh, and you know, ultimately the heat's on me. The heat's also on fucking them. You know, so the big, big thing I've got to think of. But if I can sort this out for you, and I'm pretty sure I can, yeah. then we can move on. Cool. All right. Yeah. You want to smoke or something? Oh, I've got cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we'll get them. <laughs> Sure.
Lord. Yeah, so that'd be, that'd be good for us, right? Just as soon as you find the thing, take and pull. And uh, what I said, we might have to push it up somewhere tonight. Yeah. In town. Yeah, you know, because I, I know you're going away, but you know, this came up and we're thinking this was more important for me. Yeah. Yeah. Once we do that, yeah. the reason why I'm being. So I'm having to learn better. So I'm confident that they can't give me for it. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, the thing is someone, I, I don't know, this shit happens, you know, and, and it's those little things, those little things, if we don't fucking sort them, they can bring us all the way down. Have you sorted? Yeah. 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 Well, so this inquest is coming up again. So we need to sort all that shit out before. And then, I don't know, do it. Just got to maintain the fucking story. Yeah, and she's still, the dick still lives in the same place. Does she? Well, yeah, well, yeah, well she okay. Well, I've been through the area before I've been able to. Yeah? Yeah, I've been able to. Have you spoken at all? No, I don't. No. No, that's interesting. I rang in at the drop-in one day and she said, oh, good, I need to speak to you. And you know what it's about. And I did, so I did go. Because I was all... So, did you discuss it with her or...? No. Or nothing. I cut all the ties. From what I understand, this is... I mean, like I said, I'm not familiar with you. Yeah. From what I understand, this is a fucking big deal. It is. Yeah. Um, the first time. And I see there was something... I've got a web page here. I've got like, something in the Korean Mail or something on Saturday. Last Sunday. Sunday, was it? Saturday or Sunday. Where that's going to go back up again. Because yep. there's new some yep. So it's going to stay with you until we hit the order. Are you sure there's nothing else in the software? Yeah, we've got to keep these people, we've got to keep the last rifle. That's why I changed the name. Yeah. Oh, it was a name change. Where did you get it from? My puppy dog. My puppy dog over in Queensland is named Shadow. My dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She looked like a shadow and followed me around like a shadow. Okay. But I started using it as a nickname. So I took that on and was wondering what surname I had. And me and Tracy were talking and it was like, yeah, that, that runs and fits the nice The places you're now is cheap. Friendly benefits. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we all know those, don't we? Yeah. And, uh, what are they made? Nanya. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Very clever. I'm going to get that change. Yeah. Uh, but, um, and, uh, still living to the other yeah. one, right? Yeah. So, what we'll do all we can do? The old Pajero, where's that now? Russell Hall. Russell Hall. Yeah, no, I know. It's just off the Brisbane coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. get to it by car ferry. Was it sold or Yeah, I sold it to a mate of mine who was living over there. And it's going to cost 10 grand to get Pajero fixed mechanically. Yeah, it's a good pile, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, a good fucking. The 90 mile turbo diesel. Mate of mine had an 89. 89, yeah. yeah. That's his, his, his was an yeah. import. This was a Jap import. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, he, he bought it just to fucking hurt around him, basically, out of the bush and that, but he couldn't, couldn't break it. Couldn't break that. Yeah. And I was grabbing Tom Toyota's out of the thing. How many cars you've done it? Uh, I did it up to it. I really just under 300. Yeah. And I took it up for 600. Is that right? Wow. Six years. Same motor, everything? Yeah. What about mechanically? Did you have to do any much work to it? Or? No, just 
do its regular service and everything. Can don't do that at all. No. Fuck. Yeah, that makes them done before I've got that. They don't make them like they used to do. They like the full drive. Yeah. Yeah. Buy yourself another four wheel or something, or? Out of rocket. But I sold before I came over here. They weren't a bad bus either. They, they? That was a good one. Diesel or petrol? No, it was petrol. It had the um, four Y motor in it. They came out with three Y, and somebody changed it over the high smoke. So the crawl motor. Yeah, okay. That was good. It's all the motor was going to blow well, up. Once, once things get going, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll get, you something, get yourself something decent, eh? Yeah, I've been looking at the um, FJ. Cruises. Oh, the old FJ40 rebuild. Yeah, yeah. They were a good bus, those FJ40s. Yeah, this looks real nice, but me and Paul went and had a look at one yesterday, yeah. and they all got white roofs. Yeah. And I just had a wear time from the blue to the white. Yeah. Just, just blast, blast it off. Yeah. And there's a mark, oh, a lip. You know what I reckon they've done with those FJ40s, or F, what do they call them, FJ cruisers? I, I think Toyota is trying to uh, take on the Jeep. The Jeep and the Hummer. Yeah. Because it's sort of yeah. the Hummer shape. Yeah. I've heard some, some good things about the Jeep Wrangler, actually. I've got a, um, a Jeep Cherokee Chief 81 model at home with a big block. Yeah. 360 in it. That's uh, what I have home here, you mean? Yeah. It's a project car. Yeah. 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 Put the four, the 360 out of the jeep into that. Why not? Into that. Yeah, yeah those Wranglers are good looking. Pretty good, I think. Wranglers are nice. Um, the soft tops are better than the hard tops, I think. They look better. Yeah, I think nowadays they come with both, don't they? Yeah. You can, you can change them around. Yep. I think they actually, they look ballsy, those things. That FJ Cruiser to me looks fucking weird. Yeah, it, it just doesn't look right. When I first seen it, I had that in the second one. It was just one of them, I don't like that. But every time it's just like, it's growing. <laughs> what colour? Uh, I was going to get the black. Look at the white roof. Yeah, they all get the white roof. There's only one, the red brick, that comes completely red brick. Actually, like, I haven't seen many of them around, no, I think. I've seen a few over here. Um, like, mainly on the highways and that. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so what we'll do is you go down and get something to eat. Yeah. Um, we'll put you up somewhere tonight. Try and get you on a fucking plane tomorrow. Yep. Get over there and sort that shit out as quickly and as cleanly as we can. And like I said, I might have to postpone things for a while, but I'm prepared to do that now. Because you, uh, you're more or less in the fucking inner circle now. You know what's kind of happening, so I'd rather keep you on board and sort these problems out for you. Um, that's, you know, give them the cancel them out. Yep. But I've got... Well, like I said, I've got those real qualms that we can we can sort this for you. I've sorted out worse than this, yeah. right? Um, and money and fucking talks the bulls of the wall basically, yeah. So I've been here for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Now it's all it's all fair for you, you yeah. know? We've just got a like I said, crawl, walk, run, yeah. And these little fucking things that come up along the way. We fix them when we can, because it benefits us all. <coughs> Not a bad old view here, actually. Nice, nice mm. Come on. Come on, do this for you. The map. That's well, you can you can show them. Yeah, well, that's Roy's Road. Yeah. Well, I don't know. No. Just, just, just write down the name of the road there, so I just so uh, remember it. Royce Royce Road. Royce. Ah, uh, Royce. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a pity this fucking uh, deal of yours has come up with some fucking bullshit. That could have been pretty good. Yeah. Well, it was, um, I think they didn't want to say yes. He was here. Okay. Um, that's why I lost. Also, like, a, like yeah, like I like I, I've heard it's a couple of years later, you know. So I mean, they yeah. might have had difficulty remember what happened. Yeah. But you reckon you showed him this? I showed wood him chipper. the chipper because it's like, oh, what are you doing? It's just like chipping, going to be cleaned up. Because I took a posi track down. I bought a posi track. A what? A posi track, a bobcat. Yeah. Um, when I had to move. Yeah. And um, I tied it up all the yard and everything. And what this here? Oh, not here. My yeah. dealer's yard. Oh, okay. Because she had a big step down back yeah. and she wanted it more flat and level. So I took, took it in there and cleaned it all up for them. I often had like, something weird taken yeah. from them. Yeah, I'm just thinking again as I'm fucking talking. When you throw all the shit in the river, yeah. have you seen it sink or have you yeah. seen it drift down? Or? Yeah, drift and sink at the same time. Oh. As it was getting wet, it was. So where would they end up? In Pumicestone Passage. Pumice Stone Passage in the Morton Bay. Okay, so it's highly unlikely that they'll be able to find out shit. Well, the clothing and everything now will be fucking... And even if they do find it, there's nothing to pin it to you. No. And you've left no fucking DNA or nothing? Nothing. I didn't even get my pants down. Alright, right, and the shovel, we just got to try and think about this fucking shovel, because you've smashed the... Yeah, a little bit of skull that was left. Well, I think it was skull, it could have been skull. Oh, that's amazing, man. Yeah, well, it's on, like, there's, I know there's a couple of wild dogs and shit, but I would have thought that there would have been bones everywhere. And this was a week later? A week, maybe, you know, a week, ten days, at the most. It was before, um, like, my car, I didn't even wash my car, didn't vacuum it out, nothing. So, and they took my car for a whole day on, on Christmas Day. Like you would have been sweating that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and they've done fuck all. Yeah. Oh, they. Well, I've got my car back. There was something about Finger. taking the um, carpets out or something, or. I don't know. Was they no? Well, they if they took my carpets out, they put them back the exact okay. same way. Even the inside of it wasn't vacuumed or anything. Like when I got it back, it wasn't vacuumed. There's fingerprint dust, black and white fingerprint dust everywhere. What's he, has he touched anything in the car at all? Or? Would have only been the door handle and the... And they've never come with no prints or nothing? No. It's too weak. About and when you strangled him, what, two hands, one hand or... Um, elbow? Um, your arm? Was, where was he, on the ground or...? Yeah, like... Sort of... When he started to struggle, like I was starting to pull his pants down. Yeah. And when he said, oh no and started to struggle and... and um, so he's lying on his back? Well actually, I was standing, yeah. squatting, and yeah, I grabbed him and... Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, well, we've got a couple of people, I just want to take you down doing something right? we've got a few things, I've got to make some calls and check and check Yeah, I You can say to me, Joe. Oh, thanks, Joe. Talk to you soon.